On Tuesday, January 4, 2011, 15-year-old Elizabeth Ennen was abducted shortly after visiting the Carriage House Motel in Lubbock County, Texas. On the night of her abduction, Elizabeth arrives at the motel at around 6.30 p.m. to babysit a family friend's two youngest children, while Bert Salinas, his wife and eldest daughter, went out to dinner shortly before 7 p.m. Elizabeth was reported missing at 1.30 a.m. by her mother after Bert Salinas claimed he dropped off Elizabeth shortly after 1.15 a.m., but returned 15 minutes minutes later to Elizabeth's house a second time to drop off Elizabeth's purse, which she had supposedly forgotten in his truck. Panicked that she had not seen her daughter return earlier that evening, Elizabeth's mother calls the police and Salinas remains at the residence to assist with the missing person's report. After waiting a period of 12 hours as instructed by police, Elizabeth's mother contacts authorities to let them know her daughter is still missing. Bert Salinas is brought in for a formal interview since he was the last known person to speak to Elizabeth. Salinas went as far as implicating his own son, who had a pre-existing relationship with Elizabeth, as being potentially responsible for the missing teen's disappearance. After a large-scale search conducted by police, authorities obtained motel CCTV footage of Elizabeth's whereabouts the night of her disappearance. Without this crucial piece of video evidence, the case would have remained unsolved and Salinas' son would have more than likely faced legal repercussions for Elizabeth's disappearance. An important detail to remember when reviewing the surveillance footage is when detectives retrieve and analyze the motel film, they discover that each frame records for four seconds long, but only provides one second of content. And with that delay in mind, authorities locate Bert and Elizabeth walking to the motel room at exactly 6.30 p.m. 25 minutes later, the Salinas family is seen leaving for dinner at 6.55 p.m. All seems normal until detectives notice something unusual on tape at around 10.45 p.m., when Bert Salinas suspiciously returned to the motel without his wife or eldest daughter, a detail he purposely left out of his spoken testimony to the authorities. Salinas previously told detectives that he didn't return to the motel until 11.30 p.m. on the night of Elizabeth's disappearance. An hour passes before any more footage is captured. At exactly 11.47 p.m., Elizabeth is seen on the motel surveillance camera walking out of room 113, but something is off about her behavior. Detectives are able to determine Elizabeth was running away from someone when she reaches the end of the motel corridor from the first to the second frame in the footage provided. Trailing closely behind her in the third frame is an agitated Bert Salinas. The corridor remains empty for a short amount of time before Salinas and Elizabeth both re-emerge on camera. Salinas is seen grabbing onto Elizabeth's arm and it seems as though a defeated Elizabeth is being dragged back into the motel room. Eight minutes pass before Salinas and Elizabeth re-emerge on camera. This time, they both exit the room and walk simultaneously to the end of the hallway. Alternative surveillance footage from the motel lobby shows Elizabeth holding her purse and shoes in hand. It appears as though she was in a rush to retrieve her belongings and leave the motel. In an adrenaline-fueled burst of action, Elizabeth unexpectedly runs to a different exit of the motel to try to get away from Bert a second time. A frustrated Salinas corners Elizabeth in a section of the motel lobby that is clearly visible on CCTV footage. Unmistakably, the footage shows Salinas towering over Elizabeth in what looks like an intimidation tactic to keep Elizabeth from running away a third time. We lastly see the two of them walking towards the motel parking lot before exiting out of the camera's frame. This is the last known footage taken of Elizabeth before her disappearance. As a result of the footage obtained from the motel on January 20th, 2011, police arrested Bert Salinas on charges of aggravated kidnapping. Burt cooperated with authorities and admitted his involvement in the disappearance. Authorities believe Burt came home drunk, made sexual advances towards Elizabeth, and was worried about the legal ramifications of her telling her mother. On January 25th, 2011, 14 days after Elizabeth disappears, Salinas takes authorities to where he buried Elizabeth's body in a field near shallow water in Lubbock County, Texas. I'm Detective Ray Martinez with the Lubbock Police Department. Uh, today's date is Monday, January 24th. The time is 5.21 p.m. We actually drove down that dirt road for what seemed like a very long time, and I was beginning to question if we were on the right road. Okay.
the autopsy identified the cause of death as strangulation and Elizabeth was confirmed to have been murdered during the kidnapping time frame between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. Salinas is charged with capital murder and is sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Without CCTV, no one would have believed that this trusted family friend was responsible for the murder of this 15-year-old teenager. 